the things I do for love. What's up, everybody? Welcome back to the channel. This is going to be something real quick, hopefully. It's going to be a vlog of my trip up in D.C. Did some, uh, did some buying, did some eating, met some cool people. Let's get into it. So, obviously, Friday, um, we drove up, had some family up in D.C. that I could, ch I could hang out with and live with for the weekend, so that was pretty cool. But we drove up, and it was pretty good for a while, but then it was just snow, snow, and more snow. When we came up, we didn't really do much once we got up here, but um, we did eat, eat burgers, y'all doing y'all thing. That burger was fire. And then uh, we looked at this other restaurant, and they had some fantastic pho. That joint was so good. So good food all around DC. Y'all know what y'all doing with y'all food. I gotta respect that. Woke up Saturday, headed to a uh, local market, had some breakfast. Pretty good, nothing crazy. I mean, the pancakes were pretty good though. Then the big thing, the big thing that Saturday was all about. Got to meet up with a homie from the community and that was great. How and who did I meet up with? <laughs> Met up with Brad Harper. Harper Figs on Instagram. Um, this is this is one of my best friends in the community. He's so cool. He lives in the D.C. area. So um, this is the second time I met him. The first time was like super short. That's where I got my Jada Chun-Li from and the uh, X-Men 97 Wolverine. Great dude. He actually got me some more gifts this time. These these were birthday gifts and some things I paid for him. Um, So he showed me around. And that was pretty much most of my Saturday was spending time with him. And then I got back home and I was like super tired. So I'm going to show y'all what uh, we did while we hung out. We hopped in an Uber, and on the way, we kind of swapped figs. I let him uh, mess around with my SHF Indy. He let me mess around with that M with the Star Wars Black Series, uh, Book of Boba Fett Mandalorian. I think he likes that Indy a lot. I think I sold him on it, as he should. It's a great figure. And um, the Black Series Mando, I've seen a lot of people talk about how it's like better than the imports. I don't know. The paint job is really nice. I got to give it that. But like the lack of accessories are always going to keep a Black Series behind an import for me, personally. So while this is definitely a great upgrade and probably the best Black Series man we're ever going to get, I still think I'm going to rock with my imports. The Uber took us to Tashi Station, which is a toy shop um, near one of the dudes we met up with. And pretty cool toy shop. They didn't really have anything I was personally looking for. Brad got the Figma Samus. And um, I walked out with uh, Dead of a Born Again. And I, I would have seen this thing. If Brad didn't let me know it was there. But I walked up with the Jada Toys Chester Cheetah. So that was really cool walking out with those two things. Got to meet Pac photos. And of course, <laughs> once Pac showed up, we talked about uh, Dude, talked about McFarlane Toys. Mm -hmm. And so cool. after that, we, we said peace to Pac and we head out to our next stop. Next, we hit up um, uh, the mall and we found a store called Uniqlo. And they had these really cool anime shirts. Not any anime I was too familiar with. That's why I didn't buy any. Brad got a few. They do have a Capcom collection coming out, though. And I'm definitely going to try to grab some shirts from that. Then we went to eat. Uh, no pictures of that. But uh, the food was good. Then we went to a Barnes & Noble. They had Paringa. That was cool. They had SHF Buzz. That was really cool. <laughs> Brad, this dude loves Bardock. to this goofy photo <laughs> of uh, the two Bardocks he found. And then we found Trunks. I didn't buy anything at Barnes & Noble. But uh, there's some cool stuff. Next, we hit up this GameStop that was absolutely nothing but garbage, yeah. After the mall, we went on the no, metro. Actually, crazy. missed our first metro, so we had to sit in the cold for 15 minutes. And me and Brad were just goofing off, being dumb, trying to stay warm for 15 minutes as the uh, metro arrived. We hopped on another metro, then we head to a comic book shop. And the last two stops on the day was where we were going to go initially, which was Phantom Comics. I picked up Kingdom Come and Black Batman Black Mirror. I have, I think I've read Black Mirror, but I don't own it. Same with Kingdom Come. I've read it, but I don't own it. And then we walked into a bookstore that, that Batman, The Man Who Laughs. This is a book that I've never read. I've seen YouTube videos on it. Thank you, Comic Pop, for putting this even on my radar. And Ed Brubaker Batman is something I haven't read. So it was only 10 bucks, so I had to pick it up. And this is pretty much all of my pickups from Saturday. Um... Pretty much Chester and the comics were mine. These, Those were what I bought while I was out. But everything else was a gift from Brad. So Brad, thank you for the gifts. Thank you for showing me around um, the area. And thanks, Pac Photos, for meeting us up at Tashi Station. It was so cool meeting both of you again. And I can't hope to do it again for Awesome Con. Also, I totally forgot that I got that Nightwing book at Tashi Station too. Great book. Tom Taylor's Nightwing Run Run. And uh, this is Sunday. 
Pretty slow day, didn't really do much. Hit up Tashi Station, the other location. Tashi Station has two locations. They had a lot of the same figures as the, as the one I hit up with Brad on Saturday. So nothing too interesting as far as figures went for me. Then you had this X-Men which is Street Fighter Arcade. That was pretty cool. And then I was trying to find some cool comics, but I was trying, especially Marvel books because I bought so many DC books and I'm trying to get back into Marvel again. And I bought Daredevil at um the, the first Tashi location. So I was trying to find more, but Marvel's trades are so expensive. So nothing I was looking forward to with that price in mind. So I didn't buy any Marvel books. <laughs> I did buy another DC book, though. I bought Far Sector. And these are all of the comics that I pretty much ended this trip with. Who knows? I'm gonna, maybe I'll find something Monday. We'll, we'll see. But Far Sector is a great book by, um, by Jemison and Jamal Campbell. Thanks to Ty, my great friend Ty, a.k.a. Boy Blunder on Instagram for putting on to Far Sector. So all the books here I've read, all great books, all books I highly recommend. And yeah, that was Sunday pretty much. And that's the trip, man. It was really fun being up there. I did stay till um, Monday, came back down Tuesday, but didn't really find anything on Monday. So I didn't really think I needed to chronicle any of that footage. But I had a lot of fun up there. Again, thanks to Brad. Thanks, for, thanks to Pac. And just thanks to you guys for like... Even making this community a thing for me. It was really cool meeting, like, dudes I've talked to on Instagram and, like, on Discord. It was cool to meet them in real life and finally have that happen. And, um, like I said, hope to do it again. All right. Some of these photos you guys have seen are um, from ones I posted in January. Might do some more stuff like that uh, coming up with photos I did in January and now coming into February. But, uh, yeah, see you on the next video. Peace. Crispy.